All praises to Yah. Want to thank Yah for the Holy Spirit, for which is knowledge and wisdom. All praises to you, Father Yah. Hallelujah. This little, little video I want to put together is to wake up the 12 tribes and to condemn these preachers that's preaching this Christianity garbage that's separating Yah's flock, making them go astray. I'm reading from Ezekiel chapter 34. And the word of Yah came unto me saying, Son of man, prophesy against the sheep of Israel. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus said Yah thy power unto the shepherds. Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flock? Ye eat the fat, and you clothe with the wool. You kill them that are fed, but you feed not the flock. The disease have you have strengthened, neither have you healed that which was sick, neither have you bound up that which was broken, neither have you brought again that which was driven away, neither have you sought that which was lost, but with force and with cruelty have you ruled them. And they were scattered because there is no shepherd. They, they became meat to all the beasts of the field. And when they were scattered, my sheep wandered throughout all the mountains and upon every high hill. Ye, my flocks were scattered upon all the face of the earth. And none did search or seek after them. Therefore, ye shepherds. Hear the words of Yah, as I live with Yah thy power, surely because my flock became a prey, and my flock became meat to every beast of the field, because there was no shepherd, neither did my shepherd search for the flock, but the shepherds feed themselves, and feed not my flock. Therefore, O ye shepherds, hear the word of Yah. Thus said Yah, thy power, behold, I am against the shepherds, and I will require my flock at their hand, and cause them to cease from feeding the flock. Neither shall the shepherds feed themselves any more, for I will deliver my flock from their mouth. They will, Salakia, they may not be meat for them. These churches, they teaching the Israelites, so-called black people, Negroes, African Americans, teaching them this Christianity doctrine, and it's separating Yah's flock, and he's going to destroy these churches, these wicked pastors, pork chop pastors, that separate Yah's flock. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. We are the Israelites in the Bible, and Deuteronomy 28, we fit all the curses. If we come back to Yah, we will get all the blessings in Deuteronomy. That's what my goal is, to wake up the flock so I could be counted worthy again, counted worthy with Yah. This is something that I want to say. I've been wanting to say it for a long time to the so-called black people that's asleep right now. The, dry, the Valley of Dry Bones. If you really want to know the truth, the whole truth, meditate 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. Meditate. Meditate for about 10, 15 minutes. Close your eyes when it's real quiet. It's just you. And it's just you with no sounds. Just you meditating about 15, 10 minutes and keep asking for the truth. Keep asking for the truth. Just keep saying that in your mind. Father, show me the truth. Show me the truth. Show me the truth. And I guarantee you, the Most High Yah will show you the truth. You're going to start seeing visions. You're going to have uh, seeing, oh, it's, it's going to be something. You're going to know that it's Yah. That's, how, that's what woke me up. I meditated and I asked for the truth. 
I did it late at night about two, three o'clock in the morning. I'm not saying all evil is sleep that night at that time of morning, but most evil are asleep at that time of morning. And that's when the atmosphere is clear. And that's when you can reach out and, and hear y'all when y'all can really hear you during that time. Because most evil is, is sleep. Okay. And with that, I would say Shalom. 12 tribes wake up. Peace.